All right, imagine moving a piece of equipment containing highly radioactive material across state lines. It is a massive task, and it's done. The material was scheduled to remain in storage for decades before being disposed, but leaders with a private company had other ideas that could get it out of Oak Ridge to be reused for something beneficial. The recent transfer of a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, from Oak Ridge to a commercial nuclear facility in the Northeast is a unique example of one man's trash becoming another's treasure. Here's a look at half a million curies of radioactive material getting loaded up at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. The 500-watt generator built in the 1980s as part of the Byproduct Utilization Program would have spent another few decades housed here had this opportunity not come up. So it gets from here on this truck to where it's going in Pennsylvania, and it represents kind of an interesting uh, approach that we had to take, which was to get certain exemptions uh, through the department to be able to transfer it and use a federal driver to do that. So as soon as it leaves ORNL, it hits the road, and we hope in less than 12 hours it'll be at a facility in Pittsburgh. Spoiler alert, it made it. After leaving our area, it was safely delivered to that facility in Pennsylvania. Workers will put the equipment into a hot cell to start disassembly to retrieve the material. And that material generates heat that can serve as a power source. So really think of it as hot rocks in a box. You've got uh, decay material that uh, you encapsulate it and it generates heat and you convert the heat into electricity. Uh, We're talking providing power to remote and hard to reach places from the depths of the ocean to outer space. Uh, but with radioisotope power systems, you're looking at small amounts of power in a very small form factor. Think of size of a uh, microwave or uh, two or three times the size of a microwave uh, that allows you to provide power in these really remote areas. Um, so think of it like a nuclear battery, a thermal battery that allows you to provide power in these uh, capabilities. Capabilities drawing interest from multiple federal agencies. Zeno CEO Tyler Bernstein says he's working with the Navy, NASA, and Space Force. So I think seeing the demand is really when we realized that we were on to something. But you know, one of the biggest Achilles heels of uh, a lot of nuclear projects and a lot of nuclear technologies is the supply chain and seeing the BP 500 that this fuel is here, it exists, and we have an opportunity to paint this win-win-win partnership for multiple parties, uh, you know, really helped crystallize that vision that we had. A vision that was born just down the road at Vanderbilt University while a student in 2018 and inspired by the BUP 500, Bernstein started chasing the dream. You know, five years is a, uh, it's a long time. And going from there to here, thinking of all of the countless hours and hours and hours of meetings and memos that went into this being a reality is, is, is absolutely surreal. But at the same time, this is the beginning of the work. Uh, you know, we now have the fuel that we need to begin building and delivering these power systems. He says he recognizes the responsibility of handling these missions and the weight that comes with this material. Weight now off the shoulders of the Oak Ridge team. This will represent a huge risk reduction uh, for the laboratory to get that many curies off site at one time and at the same time represent a wonderful opportunity for reuse of the material instead of just burying it, which is what we originally had planned to do. It usually costs twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars per curie for processing and disposal. Through this public-private partnership, the taxpayer saves. It's a model leaders hope to see implemented again. So, if there are folks out there who see this and who have ideas, really encourage them to to, to bring them forward. Right? We, we're always looking for folks who have creative and innovative ideas about better ways of doing things. We have a lot of problems to solve around the country, and having partners who can work with us and find better ways of doing business is something we always look forward to. Just take it from the team here who took a 40 year old problem and made it a possibility. That generator, by the way, was never actually deployed. Xeno will be using the strontium 90 from it to fuel their clean energy projects. 